Zack Snyder's Justice League may change the course of superhero movies permanently. Now, I'm not a Zack Snyder fan by absolutely any stretch of the imagination. I don't like his movies. But the fact that Warner Bros. has actually agreed to fund, produce, and release Snyder's version of Justice League could shake things up for comic book movies. A bit of context for those of you who aren't aware. Director Zack Snyder was originally going to direct 2017's Justice League, but he had to step down due to a family tragedy. In his place, Warner Bros. recruited Joss Whedon, who also directed 2012's The Avengers and 2015's Avengers Age of Ultron. Then, out to theaters it went, where it was completely panned. Later on, after rumors that Snyder's original vision for the film was completely different from what was put into theaters, and rumors that he had actually finished his version, fans of his work banded together and began the Release the Snyder Cut movement. It's been raging on for the past three years, and on a recent watch party for Man of Steel, Snyder confirmed publicly that the project, now titled Zack Snyder's Justice League, would be coming to HBO Max in 2021. I think that, I mean, I don't have like, I can't show the movie right now, you know, because it's still a little bit to do, but I mean, there is, there is this, I have, I have this, I don't know if this is helpful. See that? Oh. So, how does any of this translate to a huge shift in movies? Well, to answer that, I have two words. Studio involvement. In a nutshell, studios have way, way more control over the theatrical version of a film than you might think, and this is especially prevalent in superhero movies. This, by the way, is why a lot of movies get director's cuts or extended versions on home releases and it results in directors not actually being able to create the films they want to because the studio forces them into doing something else. For example, Justice League, the theatrical version, is crappy because of Warner Brothers, not necessarily Joss Whedon. The result was a weird, half-baked movie that, as we all know, was panned by critics and viewers and didn't exactly perform the best at the box office. And this isn't the only example. Creative differences, as studios call them, have hindered projects many times at Warner Bros. and at Marvel Studios. Scott Derrickson had to leave Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness because of creative differences with Marvel, and the same thing happened with Phil Lord and Chris Miller when they were working on Solo, a Star Wars story. Suicide Squad, according to David Ayer, its director, faced numerous production difficulties. Hopefully you get the idea by now, though. Studios are bending movies to their will, and essentially the final products suffer greatly because of this. So. This brings us to the Snyder Cut. Here's the thing. This project is going to be fully funded and is going to receive somewhere between 20 and 30 million bucks. So it's not an understatement to say that Warner Bros. has very high expectation for it. This really matters because it means that if the Snyder Cut does well both critically and financially, it could be sending a major message to all studios out there. And that message is this. Hey! If you give directors the proper space and don't micromanage their films, they can produce products that are far better received and perform far better financially. Basically, just let directors make the movies they want to make because they probably know what they're doing. If this does happen, we could go on to see a new and genuinely improved age for superhero movies where directors get more freedom to make truly original films. And that could seriously be a great thing for the future. That's all for this video. I know it was a bit shorter than usual, but I really thought this was something worth talking about now that they're finally actually going to release the Snyder Cut. If you liked this video, please hit the like button, and if you loved it, make sure to subscribe, because we're just getting started. Comment with what you think down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, Random Recorders, peace out.